Hey, hey, Terry Bean, another fun episode of Business Growth Time. Today, we're going to be talking about this tool, Traffic Wonker, for Pinterest. Excited to learn about that. Before we get into any of that, allow me to introduce you to the one, the only, the fun, the Facebook phenomenal, Janet E. Johnson, where the E stands for experimental, because that's sometimes what you got to do with all that Facebook advertising uh, you stuff. You on it. You're yeah, exactly I, right. I, I, I thought about it one. today. <laughs> I thought. I, it, I thought about it yesterday. I didn't even think about it today. I was like, oh, we're going to be experimental. Really, really. Okay, well, that is experimental. You are right. And I think all the platforms are experimental. You test a graphic. You test anything. you got to experiment. And if something takes and works, then off you go. So That's right. I think the internet is experimental, no matter what it is. <laughs> it's like the extranet would have been a much better e-word, but you know, <laughs> yeah. you can't have everything. So exactly, Jana, we have a guest. Yes. Are we going to talk about our guest, or are we just going to just have him sit there? And I'll stop touching the table at some point. <laughs> I promise. If you're watching on YouTube, you're going to get dizzy. Back. <laughs> Sorry. And People are going to have seizures watching okay. this episode. <laughs> It's like Japanimation. Uh, um, yes. Yeah, sorry. Yes. So introduce Andy. Yes. Uh, well, and I'm, I'm excited to talk to Andy because uh, I'm definitely a Pinterest user. So let me give you the proper introduction. Then I want to hear a little about your story. Uh, Andy Fling is the creator of makingmusicfun.net, the leading site for elementary music education and a music teacher in Arizona. He is also the founder of trafficwonker.com, a Pinterest pin scheduler that he created to make Pinterest marketing easier and for other small business owners that struggle to have enough time in the day to do everything their business requires. I'm excited to hear, I'm also an elementary education major, so this is kind of cool. Definitely welcome, Andy, thanks for coming on. Tell us hey, a little well, about so your much. story. How'd you get into both these areas? Well, I, I set up Making Music Fun um, back in 2007 and it took off like really great, but I, I, and I, and I hopped on Pinterest as fast as I could just when, when it was a brand new site and nobody, it was like the great, the great West and nobody knew what anybody was doing, but I had a lot of little um, thumbnail images of all my sheet music stuff. So I threw it on Pinterest and see, see what happens. Well, it turns out it was a gold mine. Um, so I, I started poking around trying to find a tool that I'd love, and I tried Tailwind and Viral Root, Viral Woot, and and uh, Viral Tag to see um, what was available for me to schedule pins with, and they all seemed to take a whole bunch of time, um, more time than I really wanted to spend. And I was looking for something that would just um, set and forget, you know, like the Ronco Vigimatic or something. Is like turn that oven on, cook the food, and then come back and and have a party. Um, so I wanted Traffic Wonker to be something like that and, and really mm -hmm. handle my marketing so I could focus on making sheet music and like funny little things um, for kids to learn how to play the piano and stuff like that. Um, so I, I guess I'll turn it back to you if you have a question. That's, I mean, that's really cool because it, it, most social media, well, they put Pinterest into the social media category, obviously, but it, we we talked a little bit before that it's really truly a search engine. Um, but what you're talking about is taking the automating it. And don't we all want that? I mean, <laughs> we all set want it and forget it. And I want my entire life to be set it and <laughs> exactly. forget it. Just call me the Vegematic. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Uh, would you call it a Vegematic? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was just listening. <laughs> I remember those ads though, that late night infomercial. Yep. Yep. Like, yeah, man. What was <laughs> Billy's that. what was Billy's name? Billy. Oh. Dude. Well, that's yeah. that's yeah. great. That's great. No, I, I really love this concept, but I um I don't really so we're talking, let's say we're talking right now to the people using the Pinterest. Because um and even if they're not, maybe they haven't looked at it and they haven't thought about it. Uh, because they thought, oh, this is too much work, that kind of thing. Let's overcome that first, uh, talking about why even use Pinterest in the first place. Good start. It's a great tool to just get an incredible audience. I talk about um, the page that you get to when you 
um, first, when you're posting pins and when you first log in, it's like streaming pins that have just been posted and it's like running a television commercial for your business. Mm -hmm. um, it's, there's just so much audience and like it's in the billions now and, and one of the most visited sites in the world. So if you want visibility for free, there's just not a better place to go for most businesses. And you just test and see. I like that. I work with a jewelry client. We get about, I think the last month, it was 5 million impressions per month with that yeah. jewelry client. Uh, just Pinterest. So I, mean, yeah. I, I completely agree and uh, add to that. Now, I want to- Hold on a second, because this is yep. really interesting to me. Because yep. I always think of Pinterest as a very visual medium. And, and here Andy is talking about music and music education, which is obviously a very auditory medium, but you figured out a way to make music visual by taking some of the sheet music and sharing it on Pinterest and driving traffic that way. Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, it was just, I mean, I, my thumbnails are just a, the picture of the music or I take a, a snap or I have a little thumbnail of a worksheet that will teach music theory to kids. And I just happened to be set up to be successful on Pinterest immediately because I had already had these thumbnails. So it wasn't a mystery. I could just post that thing. And that happened to work. And it was a little bit taller pin, like taller pins work better. So everything was sort of gelled for me to make a success of it right off. Um, with other people, it had it was like that Wild West thing. It's like, well, what do I do? How do I do it? And I surely had some fails myself. But... You um, just dig in and figure it out. Who is your target audience then for that? Because that's important to talk about too. Um, music teachers and music students and parents, very much moms because yep. they're taking care of the kids. And so um, moms are on Pinterest. And it's yeah. more, dads are. more for dads. Yeah. <laughs> but moms, you know, if you want a recipe or, or, yep. or, bridal things or something like that's how it started and grew from there. I agree. I agree. So you have this product that is worked for you, obviously, and then work for others. So let's talk about this. Uh, it, I don't know what you call it. Do you call it a software, I guess? Or pin scheduler. Pin scheduler. Yeah. Okay. So you have a pin scheduler. Tell us how it works. So the very first original way that I set it up it was a looping queue. It was really simple, laid out, laid out seven days. You filled up each day with pins and then it would po post all of those pins and then cycle back again and post all those pins again. So the same pin was not coming at people too often and you really had to just fill up your queue and really seriously, I've only filled my queue um, four or five times, refreshed it to do something new, four or five times in three years. That's how much work I invested in it. It's, oh. not like, it's not like Tailwind where you're like scheduling 20 pins for every single day. And then next week you come back and you do exactly the same thing and spend another hour. I spend four or five hours in three years. That's how set it and forget it, it is. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, you nailed that. So tell but, me how, how many pins are going out per week? Yeah. And are they going out at the same, like, am I going to see the same pin at 10 o'clock every Tuesday for the rest of time? How did, from you, how does that work? Well, here's, here's what got crazy great. Um, I have this developer that I think is one of the smartest people that I know. And he built um, the new evolution of Traffic Wonker that not only just posts your pins, now it is collecting stats on every single pin um, planning a pin strategy for you every week and then refilling your queue. It's a self-filling queue now. And so it's going to be a new set of pins focused on what's popular and what's trending. So if people are caring about it, it's going to be the one that we, that we push out there more often than all the other stuff. So it's not only just set and forget it now, it's, it's like machine learning for Pinterest. So it's going to go capitalize on whatever the hot topic it is. Yeah. So it'll attract new people that would never have seen your stuff. And then they're going to go and say, hey, I wonder what else this guy has in their catalog. Yeah. This and, was interesting. And not only is it better to attract um, people with the good stuff, it's showing the good stuff, 
um, Pinterest is going to see you're showing the good stuff and your account is going to get um, more engagement. And then Pinterest is going to say, wow, we got to show this guy more because there's more engagement now. All that's happening in the background. So are you sharing other people's content? Is this, is this automating other people's content into there too? Yeah, we have, you, the goal, what you do when you create an account, you fill up your expert library, expert fills your queue. Um, so there's two categories in the expert library. You have my pins and you have curated pins, other people's stuff. So you wanna be posting their pins too, because um, you, you don't have everything that creates incredible engagement, they do too. Um, and your goal is to have incredible engagement for your account, Pinterest to take notice of that, Pinterest to send you more people. And you get to put your logo on the bottom of every pin you post, even if it's somebody else's pin. They can click on that and visit your account. It's just another way to get people to you. Hmm. Interesting. Is that last part okay? Can you do that? I mean, like if I, if I put some stuff out there, I create my content, and you slap your logo on my content, I, I don't know how I feel about that. It's I something just, that Pinterest does. Okay. It's not, it's not something you do. It's just automatic. It says... This pin was posted by this person and Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, because yeah. you're sharing it, it go it's your Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And and Janet before we all got on when we were talking to Andy before we started recording called me dumb. So <laughs> we proved that that's actually what's going on. So I own being dumb, especially on Pinterest. So On Pinterest. That thanks, was my thanks point. For, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> Good point. Uh, there's a lot of guys that don't know Pinterest, that's for sure. Uh, and it's I, not even Pinterest for dummies. It's just Pinterest <laughs> for men. It's really, that's the whole book. Exactly. Uh, but but obviously Andy figured Andy's it out. Andy's a man. So. Yeah, he figured it out that it isn't just for women. Um, okay, so, so I'm a Tailwind user, and with, there may be Tailwind users on here. So I want to talk about the differences because um, obviously, you know, I have every, I don't even sign up a client unless they sign up for Tailwind. Like I will not manage an account because they have to use the Tailwind software because it's so powerful. And we, we do exactly what, like what you said. So what we do is we go in there and we have to post, um, you know, we put in new content all the time, week on a weekly basis, but it also goes out to a bunch of different boards and it kind of tells you when the best times are. And then we do a approximately it on that account I was talking about we do about 30 pins per day I think at this point so we've really ramped it up and that's why we're hitting that 5 million views so I'd like to hear the difference and and uh, the pluses the minuses that kind of thing sure well I'll dive in by saying this is why I think tailwind is a good tool that's wacky and then, and then I'll say how sure um, how traffic wonker because it meets the needs of a whole different audience tailwind the reason i love tailwind is because they have tailwind tribes they have a lot more people yes. we're still very much a startup something so they have tailwind tribes and you can post your your best pins to the tribes and and they'll pin yours and you'll pin theirs and it'll reach a whole new audience that's a wonderful thing and a reason to sign up for tailwind um, but you just don't have to use Tailwind. And one of our very first users was Anna Bennett. She's a Pinterest, she was chosen by Pinterest to be a Pinterest partner as a Pinterest marketer. And she chooses to use Tailwind to post new content. Like if she just writes a blog post, she'll send it out at the time that, um, that she wants it to go out to, that she believes will reach the greatest audience. And then um, she uses Traffic Walker to recycle everything that she's posted in the past okay, okay. So she, and so to her advantage she doesn't spend that time um throwing things into the regular queue of tailwind because that's time that's lost um there's no reason to to spend that time um so tailwind i love for the um for the tribes because you reach okay. you're constantly reaching new audiences through them um, with Traffic Wonker, you have your audiences, and you can certainly grab um, as many group boards as you want to go, and you'll reach new audiences through there. But the beauty of, of um, is 
from Traffic Walker is two different things. If you're a newbie to Pinterest marketing, um, a lot, all those buttons and all those things you can poke in Tailwind, it can be a mystery. Um, and you might try something and you think, oh, that's gonna be good. And it's like, oh no, just signing up for Tailwind is not the end at all, be all end all solution. Um, what we've done with Traffic Wonker is take out all the choices. So here's, here's all you have to do. Give us your pins. It's a done deal after that. Mm. You load them into your library, you click populate queue, your pins are sent off into your, from your library to your queue. The next week, it, it, well, daily, it's reviewing your pin stats. Every single day, it's looking for when what, was this saved, this was saved, this was saved. And then the next week, the most popular pins, uh, well, in the next week on Sunday, it evaluates how everything has gone and then refills your queue with an emphasis on what's popular. And, and there's, nothing you can, there's nothing you need to do. All you do after that is add new content, your new um, blog posts or your new products that you're selling, um, and a couple new um, fellow pinner pins to give some fresh content to get Pinterest, keep Pinterest excited about um, your account. It's a done deal. Well, now, you must have to set up the boards ahead of time that they go on. Yeah, you have yourself. to set up. But I'm like, I go out of my way to really make sure our users are getting um, value out of Traffic Conquer. So I not only um, spend the time with them setting up their account right, but I say, let me take a look at your Pinterest account and see if things are really dialed in there too. And when it, if we have 135,000 users like, like Tailwind does someday, well, that's not going to be able to possibly. No, you're not. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. we do now. And, and if you want to jump in now, you can certainly be helped and make sure um, those aud account audits, um, just blazing through and see if you got good board titles, um, see if you have enough pins on your boards to make a difference. Because if you don't have 20 pins on a board, well, it's never going to be found. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, that's what I, t I teach like 10 boards minimally just to get started and then you want to fill them yeah. up. I actually did a study and it's not, it's not like a guide, but I noticed that the pinners that have the most followers, like over 300,000 followers, have an average of 56 boards. So I, I try to get ah. people to 50 or 60 boards and also toward that end is like, Makes sense. You can't be found in Pinterest board search unless you have something to share. And the more things you have shared, I always talk about this term points of entry, a yep. way somebody can get to you. If you have 56 points of entry, more of a chance that you'll be found than if you had 20. Okay. Okay. So you suggest 56 boards. Yeah. I Four mean, more. that's a goal. It's not okay. like, it's not like going to kill anything if you go either way. Yeah, but no, but there's so many. I I, I get it because I do the. Papers, but it's a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a lot more than ten. Yeah, a lot more than four yeah. that I have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. So now tell us about um, the difference in cost for the two platforms. You know, I, well, I know I, what Tailwind costs, so uh, let's just sure. talk about yours. Tailwind right. is fourteen ninety nine if you go monthly. And it's nine ninety nine if you want to go for the annual deal. Yeah, we I like charging something that's really going to equal um, the value you, you get out of it. So we even bumped it down a little bit lower than that to attract some people and give them good value. Nine dollars a month. Wow. And, okay. Um, or twelve dollars a month. Well, twelve dollars a month if you want to go monthly. Nine dollars a month if you go annual. And here's the real kicker. If you have a second second Pinterest account that you would also like to market through Tailwind, yeah. or Traffic Walker, that's my site. Um, <laughs> Seven dollars, yep. seven dollars a month. Tailwind will charge okay. you the same thing over again. Seven dollars yeah. per month for the second account, third account, fourth account. Tailwind will charge you fourteen ninety nine a month every single mm -hmm. time. Interesting, interesting. So somebody like myself who manages accounts, I'd probably be better off putting my clients under the same umbrella like yeah if you if you're managing other people's accounts you just can toggle to their account change their expert library and then the queue will populate by itself for you it's really you could you could manage somebody else's account and spend um an hour 
pinning pins, posting pins on Tailwind for them, or you can just log into Traffic Walker, throw in their new their newest posts and a couple new free um, fellow pinner pins, and you're done in a couple minutes. And and the cost is um, you might be paying fourteen ninety nine times five if you have five people you're managing, or you pay um, twelve dollars for the first one and then seven four times over. So you're way under. Interesting. Cost. Yeah, because I what we do is we actually make the client purchase it. Oh um, yeah. Directly themselves, but that's because but we have to log in manually, log out manually of each right. client. Whereas here you could do it, and we could just put it on the feed too. Yeah, the browser remembers your login. Go into mm -hmm. Traffic Walker, um, hit the drop down, choose the account you want to go to, and you're there. And then choose the account drop down again, and you're to the, to the next account that you want to manage with no more logging in. One login, all the accounts. That's cool. Yeah, that's so much easier. Yeah, that's. And I, and that, I don't say and I don't say ditch Tailwind because you've got tribes, and tribes can be good for some people. I did look at uh, making music fun tribes. You know, music tribes. It's not a good thing for them. For social media marketers, go to town. Probably sure. I've never looked up bridal or recipes, but. I'm thinking they're probably pretty good too. Yep. Not for everybody. Yep, yep, a lot of blogger ones. There's a lot, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. and then, you know, we don't use the tribes a whole lot, um, but it is new, like you said, so it's kind of new and co a cool little option for it. Interesting, so how, Terry, do you have any last questions on that? Um, what, is, what have you learned or what's your thoughts? I'm just trying to figure out what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you know what, okay. Um, do you, let's take, can we take five minutes and have you share your screen? Cause we do this on YouTube too. So do you have a demo? My screen? Oh, that's yeah. great. If we could kind of just do a okay, walkthrough. Okay, so of log in, you want me to log into the site? Yeah, log into the site and I'll show you how to share your screen because I think this is something it is hard to capture. It's, so nice. I, I get it because I use Tailwind, but if you've never used something like this before, I think the demo, so if you're listening, you're going to want to, Go to our YouTube channel, which is Business Growth Time, and then um, kind of look at what time we're at, and then that's probably at about start. minute 20, 22. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm logging in right now. I have a lot of accounts that I post to, so it takes about 20, 30 seconds. Okay, so no I'm problem. in. How okay. do I share the screen? There's a bottom in the middle. It says share screen. Put your cursor right. on the screen, yeah. Yep. And then you can hit um, desktop. All right, and then share screen. You got it. Hey, there we are. Perfect, okay. Yep. yep. Okay, so we are in the expert library right now, and you can see all the pins that I've posted for, um, look up here, the drop downs. This is for Traffic Wonker. Okay. Um, four pages of it. You can load up to, I think it was, we determined 348 pins that you can add to that. Here's all the curated pins, the fellow pinner pins. Okay. A couple pages of those. These are posted less often, less focused on, because you want to get your content out. And so the algorithm says, don't post these as much, don't focus on them, even if they're getting big traffic, because it's your goal to get you out there. Sure. Um, if you want to edit something, you want to change the boards, Choose something new. I'll choose uh, something else. I don't know. I don't know what this pin is about, so I'm not going to risk it right now. Want to sure. get something deleted? Click to, and then click delete up there. Um, you want to check how things are going. This is probably one of the newer. This is one of the newer pins. Let me see, like this one. Little stats icon, and said you can see that it was saved once last week for this particular pin. Um, and then let's go to another account. I'm not sure which one. Yeah. So this was this is a really good product for me. Um, seven total saves for John Williams film scores. So crazy great composer, and so it gets a lot of traffic. Okay, somewhere else. Hmm. Um, shows all the accounts that I've going. If you want to add another account for seven dollars a month, just click that. Okay. Log into your Pinterest account, go to town, um, and your everything will be handled for you. Um, here's the queue. You'll see experts managing my queue. 
And so you can't do anything here. It just shows what's going to be posted this week. So Andy, oh, I see a, yeah. I see a blue a number in blue on a lot of these, and on this particular screen, that number shows up on the left side. Uh, the top two I'm looking at has the number three, and then the second one has the number four. Is that how many times that's going to show up in the week, or how many times it, how many different posts are inside of that? What what is that number? Well, um, you said number two and number three. I'm not sure where to oh, look. No, no, on uh, the left. Oh, three, you mean four. times? Yeah, it's that's, a three, four, five. Yeah. I oh, okay. Eight, nine, this is, it just says pin number three going out and Eastern Standard Time. Okay. I oh, got it. Okay. So you know when things are going out. Um, so it's just it's the sequence of it, it uh, yes. on this particular it's, screen. It, it goes. It goes. The numbers were way more whatever. random on the on two screens ago that you showed, and that that was when uh, I. Was, yeah, it, this is at, in the library. It's just showing. Um, the most, when, when, when Traffic Wonker has learned what pins are working, it puts them in the rank, one, two, three, four, five. Um, oh. Some of these are newer pins, so um, when you load in a new, brand new pin, you'd like you, you wrote a new post and you want to share it with the world, well, it's going to take the number one spot, and for two weeks, it has a chance to be um, shared incredibly um, much, it'll be shared a whole bunch to everybody. Um, then it's got to stand on its own. If it's collecting the most pins, then it'll get um, that high that high ranking um, like it's grabbed for the first two weeks was you because we asked it's traffic wonkers built to do that. Um, then it has to stand on its own. But yeah, these are just what's what's in your in your library available to be added to the queue. And the queue is what's really going out. So if you don't have a lot of content for some, like, let's say somebody doesn't have a ton of their own posts or something, would, um, would it go out to the same board over and over and over again? Or how does well, that work? Here's what I recommend. The magic recipe for Pinterest is don't just have one pin image for a post. I don't know oh. if you can see it. Yeah, I was just before I was getting ready to meet up with you guys. I was working on one pin. I wrote this post a long time ago, but I want to apply this magic recipe to uh, so you can see. I hear I say social media scheduling tips, times, and tools that will make scheduling productive and easy. Well, I hope that's dazzling to people. So I hope they click on that one. But here's another option. Social media scheduling times, tips, and tools that you don't want to be without. Oh, no, don't want to miss that one. Okay, and I changed the title, times, tips, and tools for social media scheduling. If the first way didn't get somebody with the colors changes, I see. this yep. one might. And so schedule all of them. See what works. And now you have, for the single post, now you have three options. For this one post that's gone so crazy for me, I have 10 different images and they're not all out there yet. I just have one out there so far because I didn't want to overload my traffic walker queue and then all of a sudden I have 10 images of the same thing and it's not focusing hard on anything else. So I'm slowly adding them in. Um, but yeah, go to town mm -hmm. with um, creating additional images to capture other people's attention. And then your queue, then you only have 10 posts you can have like 25 different pins and see what works to attract attention in different ways. And this, this, will, this tool will tell you based on the resaves and then they'll move to the top. Yeah, you'll see, you'll see which pin is really attracting. Just a change of color could do the trick because on Pinterest, orange is golden and blue, oh, not so much. Yeah, it's same, same with Facebook, blue, not so much, because it's blue on the background, so you don't use right, it. Yeah, it gets lost, maybe. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Cool. Okay, I, this is awesome. I think that, Terry, any more questions on that before? I, so I, I, as a Pinterest tool, it looks really cool. I, I'm curious, from a future perspective, are you thinking about adding other social sites, or is it always going to be all Pinterest uh, all the time? I'd really like to dial this site in even more. I mean, I... I, I think it needs, I would love to go down that, um, the tribes route to where 
um, my whole community on my site becomes one giant tribe and you just search. Because I w remember how I was talking about how some tribes, for some people, it's uh, Tailwind is a big fail. Not always. For social media, wow. For music, not great. I wouldn't even bother with 30, 33 people in a tribe. Um, but what I want to do next is create a whole community um, where all you have to do is type in um, like music or you type in social media marketing and it'll search for every description of every pin that's on Traffic Wonker. And then you can share, you'll be able to share one pin and then you can um, get, and then you can add one of your pin to this community and get somebody else to share it. And so the whole Traffic Walker community is jumping in and able to find things rather than being, ex that's the one failing I think of, of um, Tailwind Tribes is that you just can't find any pin everywhere. You have to join a tribe. And now the music tribes are like 33, 15, five, one, mm -hmm. instead of everybody banded together in one, like music, if Tailwind to set it up, would, were to set it up and say, this is the music tribe, then, then it might work better. It just doesn't for me. That, for yeah, 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 makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so I like to develop a community thing, and if I were to talk to my developer about it, share one, get one shared. The whole cool. community. Cool. Yeah. Um, if you hit the red button, stop share, we'll bring you back then. Okay. Do you see it? Okay, perfect, yeah. okay. See how easy this, uh, Yay, it's shout, awesome. out to, shout out to Zoom, I guess. <laughs> Um, okay, so lastly, I guess the, the final question then is, our users, uh, we call them Ernie, so Ernie has probably learned a lot today, and how do they get started with your product, Traffic Walker? You can sign up for a 30-day trial. If you want some help um, with figuring out if your Pinterest um, account is really set up to optimize to get those people attracted, um, Give me an email. I want to help you. I sincerely do. I, I, I love just reaching out to people and, and dialing it in. I've had like 30 or 40 emails from this one lady when I told her I'd help. So she just keeps on sending and I keep on sending ideas back. And it, might have, it was a little bit of an overload, but I never complained. I just answered her questions. Um, and she's in much better shape. And I said, show me what analytics are happening with your Pinterest account. And so she let me log in for her, took a couple screenshots and sent them back to her because she didn't even know how to um, look at her own stats or how to find them or anything. So I did that too. Um, so just create an account, you get 30 days to test drive. And okay. really expert takes a little bit to figure things out because it's a learning tool. Sure. You load your pins in, doesn't really know what to do yet. Um, and then the next week, it's, it's dialing things in. The next week after that, you're golden. And by the end of your 30 days, you're like, yep, this is working for me. And, and nope, I'm not spending an enormous amount of time. Really, it's like, give us your pins and forget about it. Yeah, not a lot of time or money. I mean, it's very- No, much more savings. And I hope I'm, I can keep it yeah. that way yeah. forever because it's, it's, it's cost versus value. And some of those schedulers that- Viral, t I can't say which one, but I can't, not that I'm holding back, is like one of them charges like $24 a month. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're only getting a couple repins. Well, if you're, especially if you're somebody like me that buys every tool in the book. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, okay, it adds up as you go. <laughs> it does. So awesome. Okay, well, any last, so tell us where exactly they go to reach out to you also. Trafficwonker.com, get to the site. Um, you can go to the contact page if you forget or you uh, don't want to listen to all of our chatting. I'll, um, you can just email me at help at trafficwonker.com and Perfect. I'll shoot you, shoot you a message back sometimes within hours. Cool, awesome, Andy. And then we also have past shows. This is number, Terry, do we know? It's 107-ish. Yeah, so. We'll call it 107-ish. That's the number. Yeah, now. yeah, exactly. And uh, the interesting thing is this podcast, Andy told me he found uh, this through Pinterest. So there you go. Pinterest wow. helps podcast marketing. It's working. 
Yeah, exactly. So that's a very interesting stat. Uh, find our past episodes at businessgrowthtime.com. Uh, I was going to say .xyz because I'm good at that. That's our group, .xyz. That's our Facebook group. So be sure to join that. And then uh, businessgrowthtime.com backslash podcast is all of our past shows and podcasts too. So we do talk a lot about Pinterest in some past episodes. And I even talk about the differences between Pinterest and Instagram. So if you're kind of wondering, is Pinterest even right for you? You know, this product sounds cool, but is the... Are you going to be using Pinterest? We have some great episodes on that too. This is episode number three covering Pinterest. So I ah. totally, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So, and right, yet well, I'm still not compelled to use it. What does that say about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's probably me. It is probably, it's the best traffic driver out there. So if you're e-commerce, you're, I mean, there's so many, we, we need to do another Pinterest one on why you need to be using Pinterest because it's just a completely different different entity than the other social media sites. Well, and you nailed it, that it's not a social media site. It's an SEO traffic builder, yep. right? And there's no, no question about that. So very cool. Andy, congratulations on the tool, man. It looks like hey, it's uh, really neat and uh, good luck with that. Thanks for being a part of our thank show you. today. And uh, yep, thanks for having me. Excellent. Ernie, we'll look forward to seeing you real soon. Be well.